guys. G'day furballs and this weekly video is going to be about the do's and don'ts of the furry fandom. The reason I'm doing this is because I noticed that a lot of my viewers usually are furries that are either new to the fandom or people getting acquainted with the fandom in itself. So I thought this would be a really helpful video to start talking about the fandom in itself and the main, well let's say the fandom guidelines that just people make up on the spot and just happens to so be. Or maybe you could just call it common sense. So. Firstly, I'm going to be starting off with the do's. Why? Because there's not a lot of do's. Get it? Do's like... Do the Dutch Angel Dragon. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. Puns aside, here are the top do's that you can do to ask a furry or a fursuitor. Yes, it is okay to ask any fursuitor out in public, that's fursuiting obviously, if you can take a photo of them or with them. It would be very rare for a furry to say no to that. Unless it's like, you know, a medical emergency thing that they need to just get out of suit because they're overheating. Now, this one is kind of sort of in the grey area of the do's and don'ts for a lot of reasons. But in the fandom, as you guys would have known, there's a lot of artists. So it is okay to ask an artist whether they do free art requests or free art in general. A lot of them will say no, but many of them will either go for an art trade, which is kind of sort of like where you draw something in return for them to draw something. Or maybe they just want to take the time to earn up their skills and give out some free art requests. The reason why this is in a grey area is because, well, as you know, a lot of other younger furries depend to sort of ask for a lot of free art. And unfortunately, they tend to ask a lot of the really high pricey artists out there that don't do requests. So please always make sure that you know the artist, or that you've looked on their Fur Affinity page, or whatever page, and that you know if they do do requests, or if they definitely do not do requests. If they don't mention it, of course, you're more than welcome to ask them. But please don't get too butt hurt if they say no. Yes, it is okay to actually ask any furry, whether it be on the furry fandom or a fursuitor, what type of character they are, like your species wise, what what exactly are they? I know this happens a lot with Dutch Angel Dragons because I mean come on, they're a fluffy dragon thing that just is fluffy dragon. And of course it's very hard and interesting to explain what a Dutch Angel Dragon is. For those of those that are not a part of the furry fandom. Yes, it is also okay to ask any fursuitor or furry artists for advice. Whether that be in regards to how to make your very first fursona, advice on the design that you may have created, or helping making your very first fursuit. A lot of furries like to show off their skills, and of course, they would definitely love to sit down and have a good chat about what you can and can't do with fursuiting and, and character designs and all those lovely things tossed together. Because let's face it, every fursona, fursuit or not, has a very unique appearance. But now we are moving on to the big do nots. Now a lot of these are more so applying towards fursuiters because a lot of people don't realise a lot of things about fursuiters, but others are more so for the general overall fandom. So firstly, the top number one is going to be, please do not ask a furry if being a furry is a fetish. Furries, fursuiters, furry artists, people that like the Lion King, basically are just people that love the anthropomorphic -ness. like a cat with the humanoid looking features, right? Y you get that right, right, right? Oh god, I'm terrible at explaining this. But in no way, shape or form is a furry going to dress up in a fursuit for reasons. And those that do are basically outcast from the fandom very, very fast. So in other words, please don't ask it. Just please, like, please. The other thing, and this is more so for fursuiters, Please do not run up behind a fursuiter and tackle hog them or touch them in areas that you know that they can't see. My field vision is basically here. That's probably because Engel has large eyes, but some other fursuit heads don't have eyes as wide as this or they might be slightly off to the side. It really just depends on the fursuit. But the point I'm trying to get across here is fursuiters do rely a little bit on other people to help them out because it can be limited vision depending again on the fursuit. And unfortunately, people, non-furries, and sometimes furries, tend to have this weird tendency to just grow up and grab you from behind. It's like, whoa, who's touching me? Who is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. And of course, it makes for a very awkward experience. And it can sometimes ruin a convention or a fur mate for a particular furry. If a fur suitor, for some reason, says no to a photo, please respect that. I mean, basically, when you meet someone that's fur suiting in public, it's all about respect. Do they feel okay having a photo taken in a particular place? Or if you're trying to do an inappropriate 
seen in a photo, it's, it's not going to end well. So please just be respectful of the person, or the first dude, or the photo in general. The other thing which comes down more so to artists is please do not harass them for artwork, especially free artwork. Or if they're doing a commission for you, which I unfortunately had very bad personal experience in this, was that I was doing a commission and the person kept continuously harassing me on and on and on as to when is my commission going to be happening? When is this going to do? And it's kind of, sort of like, well, if you keep pestering me, I'm unfortunately just going to be able to do a really rough scribble and be like, I'm done, please. I want this to be over with. Like, oh. So if you do commission someone or they're doing a request out of the kindness of their heart, just remember to not harass them. And also, patience is key. The same thing can go for fursuit makers. Please don't harass them if they are making you uh, a commissioned fursuit head or when their dicks quota will be open. It's just all about being patient and being respectful to the person. In fact, all this thing is basically about being respectful to the person, whether they're a fairy or not. The other really, 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 really big don't thing, and this is more so for fursuiters, obviously, is if you have grubby hands, or you have children that have grubby hands, please just don't touch the fursuit and rub that ickiness all over the fursuit because Fursuits do cost a lot of money, and they're also very unique. Not to mention, some stains can't be removed from fursuit hair, depending upon the fur type. So if you do have kids and they want to get a photo with, you know, a fursuiter, and they've got grubby hands, and you know that they're just going to be like, ah, oh, please just take the time to let your child wash their hands, and then go and have a photo with the fursuiter. It may sound a bit mean, but in the end of the day, no one likes to go home with a stinky, Sticky, icky looking fursuit. Especially if it is a fursuit that I've spent over a thousand dollars on. But when it does come to fursuit, it's also another thing. Please don't pull the tail. Like, no, just don't, don't do it, don't, don't. It's like death. It's, it is, it is death. But like, coming towards the end of the video, this is probably one of the most important things I do want to push out there. Fursuiters always get this, like, every time. And usually it's young children or really drunk, stupid idiots. So, to parents, please, if there is a fursuiter out there, and your child is mucking around with them, just try to contain them a little bit. Not to mention, if they are pulling on the fursuiter's tail, that's up to you to stop that child. That fursuiter is basically helpless unless the handler comes up and says, hey child, can you please stop that? Which sometimes can cause more issues than needed. So please, just remember, fursuits are very expensive, and just try to teach kids to be nice and respectful and humble. Which will probably never really happen, but you know, they can always try and say, Hey, please don't do this because it's not okay. Not only does it hurt the fursuit, but it does also hurt the person because you are actually pulling them back and they can't see who's doing that. So just remember to be really, really nice, kind, respectful, and to still at least try to have fun without causing any pain or harm to any furry. I hope this video of do's and don'ts has been really, really helpful for you guys, especially those of you new to the fandom, and that overall you have enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye, furballs! Oh.